Hi guys and welcome back to the channel, hope you're all well. So what is today's video all about? So today I decided to go to Merry Hill. Not so much for shopping, but there was something happening in Merry Hill today. Um, my friend David sent me a little post the other day saying that the Halloween shop in Merry Hill, uh, ITV's This Morning crew were there filming today. So I thought, why not go and take a look and uh, yeah, see what it's all about. So that's what I did. So I went to Merry Hill this morning. I got there bright and early. Uh, I saw the crew there and everything. Um, I did plan on doing like a full vlog there at Merry Hill, but I thought, no, because there was a couple of reasons why I didn't. Because uh, I'm six foot three. And I'll be honest with you, there was not a lot of people there while they were filming around the store. So I I thought I'd, I feel a bit stalkerish in a way, a bit, a bit like following them around to get on camera so I thought you know what forget that so I managed to get a tiny 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 little bit of footage if you blink you will miss the footage so uh, yeah I'll show you the vlog that I was gonna record so I set it up as if it was gonna be a vlog but it turns out it's not a vlog so uh, yeah I'm gonna put that footage in there for you all to see something's happening up maybe all today let's go up and find out what it is Okay, so it's a quiet uh, Wednesday morning and I'm up Merry Hill because uh, apparently the, this, uh, this morning film crew's in town. So we're gonna go and take a look down the Halloween shop. Now it is really quiet. So we're gonna go down the escalator now and uh, yeah, go and find out where it is. So yeah, this morning I'm filming today in the Halloween shop. I've, I've done a bit of footage there before, so hopefully I'll get a bit of footage of the camera crew there and everything. But uh, yeah, we'll see you guys. So let's head that way now. Yeah, so I'm just sat outside on the bench now, waiting for the Halloween hours, but there seems to be no crew there at the minute, so yeah, we'll just wait here and see what happens. Right, so it's 10 to 10, still no sign of any crew or anything yet, so yeah, we're still waiting. Yeah, they were filming like a segment at the back of the Halloween shop. Um, I think it's going to be broadcast later this month, um, more closer to Halloween. But it was all being filmed today. There was all this morning crew all around and everything. Uh, creating quite a buzz around Merry Hill, around the Halloween shop as well. Um, which is really, really good. So, um, so yeah, so I, I stopped a little bit and watched a little bit of that being filmed. A couple of the retakes they were doing and stuff. Because I've always been interested in watching film and TV being recorded. Um, don't ask me why, it's just something I've always been fascinated with. If I know there's a film crew in town. Um, it's like years ago at the Black Country Museum when they were filming Peaky Blinders. Uh, I think it was series three. I want to say series three they were filming. And I knew a spot you could look in the fence on the way to the Black Country Museum where you could see all all the uh, film crew in there and everything. But uh, yeah, they wised up on the next one because they put a big uh, sheet over it so you couldn't do it. But yeah, if there's a film crew in town, Jim Jam is more than likely going to be around somewhere. So I thought, yeah, I'll go and have a little look what's all about, what's going on. So that's what I did. So, did I get any pickups today while I was up Merry Hill? The answer is yes, I did from the one charity shop in Merry Hill. And he said West Bromwich, then in Merry Hill. I got a little stack of five DVDs, and these were five for the pound in Midlands Air Ambulance. Um, and I thought, why not pick them up? Because, 
Yeah, five for a quid, 20 pence each. It's a great deal. Unfortunately, I didn't go in CEX was at Merry Hill today. Um, I didn't go in HMV because I'm not a massive fan of the HMV store. Um, so, yeah, I didn't go in no shop. So, I just went in Midlands Air Ambulance and then caught the bus back home. So, what did I pick up from Midlands Air Ambulance? Oh, before I carry on, I have got to do a bit of a shout out to my friend Sean. Hey Sean, Sean stopped me um, when I was up Merry Hill and uh, yeah, he goes, hi Jim Jam, all right mate. He was with his partner as well, so hello. <laughs> so thank you so much for stopping by and having a little chat with me. He did get a couple of pickups, um, one being the Hitcher on 4K, so nice one mate. Uh, yes, it's always lovely when people stop you and say hello. Because um, at the end of the day, we're all human. It's a very nice thing to do, and I'm just so appreciative of it. So thank you so so much. So yes, yeah, shout out to Sean. Uh, so what did I pick up from Merry Hill today? Uh, red Red Ambul uh, Midlands Air Ambulance. Let's get right. Midlands Air Ambulance. Okay, so five for the pound. First one I picked up was a sealed documentary. Now this is called Jackie Chan, My Story and My Stunt. So I'm guessing this is two documentaries and all about Jackie Chan. Um, I did read the back. It did sound quite an interesting documentary. I don't know too much about Jackie Chan, but this does look like it contains a lot of archive footage of him throughout his career as well. So I thought for the sake of 20p, Hong Kong Legends, I'd pick that one up. It does look quite fascinating, actually. It's quite a long documentary, 167 minutes. So, yeah, that looked cool. So, I picked that up. The next one I picked up was, this is like a period drama. I believe it was from 1996 on ITV. It's The Fortunes and Misfortunes of Mole Flanders. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, this has got Daniel Craig in as well. But if my memory serves me correctly, this is a little bit saucy, this one is. Um... But yeah, I do remember. I do remember briefly this being a big, big thing um, talked about a lot. But I've never actually seen it. But yeah, it won a BAFTA TV award in 1997, and with like you can see Daniel Craig right on the front there with long locks of hair. There we go, Alex Kingston and Daniel Craig. So I thought for 20p, why not grab that? Uh, the next one I picked up, now I don't actually own any of these films on a DVD, Blu-ray, 4K or anything, but these films have always intrigued me and they only had one film by them on the shelf and it is a film by the Marx Brothers called Duck Soup. Now I've never actually seen a film with the Marx Brothers, I know you're going to be shocked because it's old classic films and stuff, but yeah I've never actually sat down and watched a Marx Brothers film. Now, it's, I know it's Groucho, Harpo, Chico and Zeppo, because I've just read the back. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I I just love the artwork on the front right there. There we go, with Groucho. But I thought, yeah, I'll give this one a go. And this is from 19... I'm going to go to 1930s. 1933? I didn't realise it was as early as that. 1933. It's got a runtime of a six, one hour, five minutes. That's quite short for a film, isn't it? One hour, five minutes. But it does look like this is going to be a lot of fun. And I'm really looking forward to it. And if I do enjoy this film, it might entice me to look out for other, other Marx Brothers films. Because, I'm like I say, I've never actually seen any Marx Brothers films. And I thought, why not grab it anyway? So I, that's what I did. The next one I picked up. Now, this is a sequel. I don't believe this is a very successful sequel to a, this classic film. Um, but yeah, I've never seen this film. I've always wanted to pick it up if I did find it out in the charity shops. And today I found it. So it's the sequel to Gregory's Girl. It's called Gregory's Two Girls. As you can see, it was $9.99 priced up at one point. But yeah, I've never actually seen this film. I do absolutely love Gregory's Girl. As you see, I, I got the Blu-ray the other week after trading the 4K. But yeah... I thought, why not pick it up and give it a go? Um, it's 111 minutes, and this is from 1999. So it's, yeah, it, Gregory's now 35 and back at his old school teaching English and preaching against political corruption and the abuse of human rights. Okay, so, yeah. Looking forward to checking out Gregory's Two Girls. And the last one I picked up, 
And I'm very shocked this is there, even though it is the DVD version and not the Blu-ray version or the 4K version. Uh, I'm very shocked it's still there. And this will be a first for Jim Jam because this is the first movie title I'll be um, adding to the collection. And this film only come out this year, I believe, on DVD, Blu-ray and 4K. If it does have a 4K, I'm not sure if it does. But it is Priscilla with a slipcase. Yeah, it is on the movie label right there. And I just saw it on the spine like that. And I was like, wow, that, that's Priscilla. They've got that in a charity shop already. For practically 20 pence. So yeah, it's a lovely two disc set. I love the inner artwork right there as well. Um, yeah, definitely going to pick this one up all day long. I've never actually seen the film. I've heard mixed things about it, to be honest. I've heard some, it's a Marmite kind of film. But I thought for the sake of less than a pound why not pick it up and give it a go we do get uh sophia sophia coppella in conversation with richard curtis and we get a making of on the other disc as well so yeah it does look an interesting watch it is on 408 minutes so yeah that is priscilla so that is my little stack of DVD goodness that I've picked up today from the charity shops. And like I say, all that cost me was one quid. So let me know down below in the comments, guys, if you would have picked up any of those five that I've picked up today in a charity shop. So yeah, please leave me a comment. As always, I will get back to your comments. And so I really look forward to hearing all your comments and getting back in touch with you. So if you did like this video today, please hit that like button. Please share and please subscribe. And I will see you all very soon in another Jim Jam video. Take care, guys. Have a lovely day. Bye.